Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So, we just encountered Jonah. He's doing fine, except for uh, that little parasite thing, but, you know, looks like we were able to help him in time. Um, yeah, this bird symbol. What is up with that? I don't... I didn't notice any large birds here. Maybe they're not here while we're basically... Um, in a, in story mode. Maybe when I return later, things will have changed. Yeah, for the time being, let's just move things forward. We're supposed to head for that village, Kuwakyaku, that we were trying to reach, where poor old Miguel was trying to to get us with the plane. Um, are you going to move? <laughs> okay, well, I suppose. Things will probably, hopefully, proceed. Oh, he just... Teleported to us. Yeah. That's what I was hoping. Okay, teamwork. Wait, how are we gonna travel back then? Hmm. Okay, there's a village. That's pretty nearby. You see that? It must be Kwakyaku. We have to get down there. I mean it's some kind of village. Actually it's surprisingly large. Down there, huh? Seems pretty easy. But let me guess, as soon as we arrive there, Trinity is going to attack, and things are going to be terrible. Well, you sure this is a path? Uh, it's not really. I'm especially unsure if or how Jonah is supposed to use that path. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh boy. Almost there. Almost there? Almost there? That sure. Almost somewhere. Hmm. Oh, oh god. Oh, not right. much of a path I'm left. Okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. <laughs> I'd be really worried if I were Jonah. If the path is crumbling under right. Lara's I'm okay. I'm okay. little bit of weight. Oh well. We did it. It's it's alright. There's some kind of what is this? Almost looks like a fortress. <laughs> Almost medieval, like medieval European. Obviously it must be... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really look like indigenous construction. What do you think built all this? It could have been... The bridge is down. Uh... Maybe we could lift why would you cut yourself points? off? Maybe. So the... She was starting to say something about the Inca, apparently. Well, I guess this... It might be. Maybe it looks a bit like Inca construction. Me too. Okay. I don't want to interrupt anyone. Although you're apparently interrupting yourself sometimes, which is not that great, but okay. This is more Quechua. Yes. I bet this water is drinkable. A depiction of Khan. <laughs> this depicts the Incan god Khan. Oops. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Khan was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although, in some legends, he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. What was he... What are we talking about? Because this, dang it, I wasn't really paying attention, or I don't know, maybe you know, something got cut off if again. If I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> that might not have been a <laughs> terrible idea. Thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. Want to talk about it? Maybe eventually. Oh, got another artifact here. A llama fury. The canopa serves huh. as a receptacle for That's offerings cute. of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. Okay. Well. 
And if it's not accepted, then he will you? get none of those things. Ever do Girl Scouts or Nature Camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always prefer the company of adults anyway. <sighs> yeah. I miss that guy. Me too. <laughs> the lip syncing is not exactly working out here. Not sure if it's supposed to. It's just my PC that's making it not work. I'm, I'm not even sure. I, I'm. Hey, Ligon, your arms my God. Quickly. Yeah. I feel a lot better already. Really? I mean, that's technically been only like ten minutes ago, but okay. Uh, so, yeah, I ha haven't even spent any amount of time thinking about or looking at what we're even dealing with here. I guess there is. A bridge that's not currently up and there is an overly complicated looking mechanism that is probably supposed to control that. Um, it looks like I can balance across here so maybe I unwittingly took the right path. I can also turn this but it only turns one way because of this pull here. So let's just see what happens. I pull that and... Hey, that did something. Oh, well, that's a water uh, thingy. Aqueduct, kind of. Okay. But the water is flowing the wrong way. It's supposed to fill that bucket. It's a very familiar looking bucket. It's like similar buckets in the... Or especially the one in... Oh, I thought I was supposed to land on that to make it tilt the other way. But I guess that's not actually how this works. Instead, I'm supposed to. It's too heavy. Uh -huh. Give me a hand. So we're pushing this over, and then what? Oh, it's just gonna raise it. That's a weird mechanism. The water's filling the bucket. Yeah. Good. Let's see what those. Characters. Anyway, that looks like the. In that trebuchet second uh, section in the previous game. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, that doesn't stay. The bucket's leaking. Very long. It's leaking. So what am I supposed to do with this? Have I mentioned what a weird mechanism this is? Also, I well, I want to. I wanted to look around a bit more. Uh huh. Because yeah, I just didn't. Okay, this is where the water's going when the mechanism is not aligned properly, I suppose. Getting dumped here. Yeah, we did rate that, but there is obviously something. Oh, something over this way. Is that the monolith that I saw? Yeah, I guess it must be. This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. Oh, okay. So we're not getting explicit hints anymore, or explicit item reveals. Just uh, something in this area. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. Okay. I can dig that. Although this one's probably going to be pretty basic. Being, you know, the first one. But we'll see. There's a relic here. Is that a relic? I can never tell. It actually is. Okay. Bull of cinnabar powder. Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Come to Lara. This wouldn't be the. Really? That was the monolith treasure. Oh, oh. You know what? I did not realize these were actually the. Wait. Are these just roots, or is this stone? This must be stone, or else it wouldn't be here anymore. Yeah, I thought these were roots, and... I don't know. I thought briefly crossed my mind that, you know, tree roots could look serpent-like, but obviously an ancient monolith hint couldn't possibly refer to that kind of temporary thing. Okay, well, <laughs> that one was... Uh, yeah. Didn't really need that hint for that. I guess if I had noticed that it looked so peculiar, I would have tried digging there anyway. 
Although the game probably wouldn't have let me without having found the hint first. So there's that. Anyway, right. I wanted to take a look down here. I'm even supposed to do something here. So, I guess I didn't really pay well, very good attention to what happened while the bucket was lowering. Something moved here very noisily. But was it actually the other side of the bridge getting raised, or was it this thing? This thing lowered itself down here. Hmm. But I mean, obviously, I can't just shoot an arrow, uh, a rope arrow into that and pull it up. That's clearly not gonna work. So... Maybe I have to start lowering the bucket then while it's still going down. I'm, I need to get down here and connect those two things with ropes and then as this goes back up it pulls up the, the other side of the bridge. I don't know. Something like that. Or maybe I'm thinking way too complicatedly again. Is that a ledge I can grab? It is. It is indeed. Oh, but that only allows me to go up here again. Okay. Well, I think at this point I've looked everywhere, looked at everything. Oh, Jonas patiently waiting here. Whoops, sorry buddy. Okay, that's... Can you... Could you try and hold that in place? Oh, he is? I can't hold it much longer. Okay. So that wasn't happening before, right? Sorry, can we... Can we start over? I'm going to have to let it okay. go. I guess I may still have had enough time. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry, John. You, you did good. Yeah. Obviously there is plenty of time to get down there and do probably exactly what I... What I had in mind. Not sure if this is the best way to do it, though. Oh. Seems a little bit... I don't know. It seems a little bit dangerous. Aha. Uh -huh. What a mechanism. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, huh, there's still quite a gap, but, well, if Jonah can do it, no offense, but <laughs> Lara should have no trouble whatsoever. Why is this rope highlighting? I guess it is also part of the mechanism. The counterweight that pulls it back down. Or back up, rather. Yeah. I mean, really interesting construction, but I very, very much doubt that anything remotely resembling this was ever built by anyone. Seriously, why? Guess we go through here. After you. Another What's mural? That? Well, it's a fancy it's looking one. Or... Help what? me with this. Sure. What? We're trying to break us? Oh. Okay. What is it? A recipe. Recipe? Seems to be a mixture of <laughs> herbs. Okay. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. We don't. Yeah, I mean, he here. didn't. Yep. So we learn what exactly? Eye of the Eagle. Okay. Step Y while holding LB. For the perception herbal mixture. How does that help specifically with jaguars? Let's learn to see to sense animals and natural resources. Hmm. Okay. So we'll have to spend some resources, some ingredients, to get that effect now. Anything else here? Can I go back out? Yes. Just in case there is something on this ledge that I didn't see. There is not a whole lot here at all. Okay. So I'm going to assume that we're good. Didn't really check the map, but I didn't have anything revealed anyway. So there's that. 
Oh, there's another mural that way. I guess that's the way we're gonna go anyway. And what are we actually looking at? Isn't the village this way? Like, not even on this map? Yeah, it's all the way over there. Yeah, okay. So that's on the other side of, of the river of the Amazon, I suppose. Right? Okay. So maybe not. we're not gonna reach it as soon as I thought. Also, to see... Huh? Holding LB here, but... The crafting menu doesn't come up, maybe because we're... Not in free-form exploration mode right now. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. Is that the other side of... Oh. Um, must be. I don't see that tiny little creek that's on the map. But this can't be it, right? Or is this... Is that actually it? Hmm, I guess the actual river is much, much bigger. It's even beyond that. Probably. Okay. That might be. It's hard. I find it hard to tell the exact scale of of things on the map. Uh, hold LB. I'm doing that. I'm pressing the button. I wonder if my controller broke. Oh, I can use that button. These are different from oh. the ruins in Mexico. The list only came up, or the list doesn't come up when I press the button, which is kind of weird. Does notebook say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru, Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But Dad's notes stop in Mexico, like he lost interest, or... Or... I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. Hmm. Lost interest? Unlikely. Maybe he was threatened by Trinity or something? Remind me how the river goes again. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver-crowned mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. How will we know when we're back on track to find the hidden city? My ruins are bound to stand out, right? Right. Unless they're inside caves, like that one how far that we found. To Kwak -Yaku? Assuming we're going the right way, um, hard to say. But the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. People were here at some point. Let's just hope they still are. Yeah. Okay, so that, that herb effect, of course, was a little bit wasted. Needless to say. Uh, I should probably pick this up before I forget. Pistol parts. Interesting. Whatever weapon these were attached to has rusted away in the jungle's humidity. There's something etched on them. Can barely make it out. P H Percy Fawcett. But we must be thousands of kilometers from his last known position. Thousands of kilometers. Wait, what? But we found other artifacts pertaining to him, right? Or was it a different faucet? Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Still only one skill point. No, no, never mind. We have two. Or I think it was only one. Who knows? Eye of the Eagle has been acquired. Wait. Yes. Um. Oh, and we can further upgrade that. Boost the poten potency of perception plans. Okay. Sense human enemies, but... Highlights enemies, resources, and objects in one with the jungle difficulty. I guess, even though this is a slightly higher difficulty, where these things are not on by default, where you have to buy this the skill to get those things highlighted, uh, there is even higher difficulty where you absolutely need this Eye of the Eagle potion. So I guess I don't need that then, since I'm only playing on one with the jungle. Uh, I mean, I wanted to get this, so... Yeah. I guess this doesn't mention animals. Hmm. Do we have something? Actually, we do. Right. 
Looks like we have exactly the resources we need for this, so... There we go. Yeah. No more cloth. But that's pretty plentiful, so... It shouldn't be a big problem. Also, spending all those resources on this very basic bow might be a little bit of a waste, because who knows when we'll get a legitimate upgrade. Not counting all those DLC items, of course. So anyway, um, what are we looking at here? There's a tomb. Technically the second one, but I still can't fast travel back to uh, to this one, which I should be able to access as well. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe I don't need to fast travel, because this seems to actually... Yeah, this totally connects back to that first area. And there was this climbing, climbable wall some, somewhere around here that I can now actually climb. Oh, okay. Well, I guess in that case, that's not going to be a problem at all. So there's a mural. should probably go ahead and grab that before we head on through there. I might also check out the first challenge tomb in this game to see how those... How good those are. I'm expecting good things here. Wait, is this where we came down? Apparently. Didn't even realize that. Oh no, never mind. Of course I did. Completely forgot that I dropped down here. Anyway, I feel like I was trying to, or starting to talk about a dozen different things. Um, and then there's, you know, the constant uh, worry that I'm interrupting some dialogue or, you know, actually. I have interrupted or just straight up missed some some things they, they were talking about because I was trying to say something or just thinking about something at the time. That's, uh, that's always a bit of a difficulty, you know, with these cinematic games where the game gives you a lot of ambient dialogue and whatnot. That makes it hard to commentate over it, of course, without, you know, missing things. It's always a bit of a difficult balance. Oh, okay, that's more Mam, Mam, I still don't know. These two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld, Shabalba, literally the place of fright. Vukub Kakwish, whose name means Seven Makul, was a monstrous bird who was said to carry the false sun in his beak. His subordinate was Hun Kame, which means one death. They are both defeated and killed by the hero twins after challenging them to various sports and games in which both sides cheated. Vukub Kakwish lost his game of darts when the hero twins used blowpipes. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Thanks for that. Mam monoliths. Right. I don't think we've seen any monoliths. I mean, I'm pretty sure we we haven't seen any other monoliths, so not aware of any that I need more knowledge for, but obviously they're going to be there somewhere. I exist somewhere. Uh, challenge Tomb now? I, I suppose. Well, it's here. If I can't access this. Unless this is once again... Found something. There might be a way in. If it's not civilization, I'll <laughs> wait here by the yeah, you do that. That's fine. You need some, some more rest anyway. I've done quite a bit of... Quite some acrobatics lately. Okay, looks like I can get in. So this is... I was half expecting the game to prevent me uh, from entering this one. Well, okay, this is quite the narrow passage. Um, yeah. I was expecting the game to to gate this behind another artifact, or uh, artifact, what? Another um, upgrade of some sort that I don't have yet. But no, actually, it looks like we are good to go for this one. So maybe in a way, maybe in a way, this is the first challenge tomb that people are expected to find and or to access. Although I technically could have turned around or just ignored this one and moved on and returned to that first one that we can access now. Hmm. Okay. Already triggered trap. There's some climbable tree up there. Some free animal hide. 
Oh, well, obviously not a tomb yet. How is this map-wise? Okay, we're just moving outside of the map area. Just like before. So there's absolutely no indication of how big this might be or where exactly it might stretch. Oh boy. Okay, that's a, that's a chasm. Probably don't want to fall down there. In fact, it looks like I can continue that way. Ah, right. But we can continue here, of course. There's something above that looks like I might be able to... Oh, okay. I was expecting to find another ledge there to hold on to. It almost looks like something you could eventually grapple onto or something. But, of course, we don't need to. Okay, another trap. Nice try. There's some ruin in the jungle, exactly what I was looking for. Oh, and find a backpack right away. Secrets revealed. Oh, one secret, specifically. Yes, yes. I keep forgetting that the game will, uh, will open the map automatically. then and oh, we can make it here from here we can rappel down surprised I remembered how to do it wait holding the button oh okay when not holding the button you rappel down yep playing it safe probably swinging a bit more than I need to Okay. Some corpses. This oh. early 20th century. Yeah. Huh. Well, those guys were obviously killed by some kind of uh, indigenous people. Hmm. That was a long time ago. I'm sure people here are much friendlier toward outsiders at this point. In this day and age. At the gate. That starch shirt Forset may be getting all the attention, but I know his time is almost up. The world will remember the Timothy Walker as the man who finally found the lost city of El Dorado. We've set up camp in a canyon. It was a grueling journey to get this far. We'll rest here a few days, get our bearings. Some of the men need patching up, and I wouldn't mind one good night's sleep. The men say something came through the camp last night. The jungle is getting to them. I keep telling them that we're close and we need to keep it together. One of the scouts has found a temple of some kind up ahead. We'll start construction of bridges and ladders this morning, and head out from camp this afternoon. Hmm. Well. The jungle did get them in the end, not only get to them. I guess I probably did construct a bridge here. That's what remains of it. Hmm. Oh. Of course. What actually are those things? It's not really what I meant to do. Can you stop rappling? Nope. Oops. exactly happened? Was that some kind of mechanism or was that supposed to be just a bit of a jump scare? An ancient curse? Hmm, I don't know. Couldn't quite tell what happened there. Thought it just, I think it just 
crumble. New base camp. Oh, right. I guess that's more pleasant than reusing theirs with all the corpses around. Although there are corpses here as well, so... Oh well. Um, canyon ruins. Well, I don't have anything to upgrade, really. Unless I... Okay, I guess I should check if I have the cloth. I do. Okay. Sure, why not? Actually, cloth and a bunch of other resources as well. You don't even see how much we need for this. Or, or what we need. I could get this proposer's witch. Um, I, I mean, I probably should unlock this at some point. Crow's charm. Hmm, okay. Not sure how soon we will encounter any merchants. If we actually do reach that Kuwakyaku village, we might... Uh, well, we will most likely see merchants there. Um, well, I did, did want to get this Cayman's Breath eventually. Eh, chain takedowns, I don't know. Outer speed... Never slow. More reaction time. I probably want that eventually. Right, and this one... Just in case. Hmm, I don't know. No real reason to plan, or try to plan, very far in advance. I'll just play it by ear. Whatever seems like a good idea to get next. Okay, well, let's head on inside. This seems like a really inviting place. No ancient curses here. Someone there. Don't be silly, Lara. Who would be here? What's something glowing there? Hmm. Okay. Trying to keep an eye out for any spike traps. It looks like the floor is safe here. Maybe I can jump across there and climb up. In fact, maybe that's the only thing I can do. Not sure what's up with that barrier. Maybe I'll pull that from the other side and that'll make those, those rocks fall. Nope. Well, I guess I can just climb up here. That works too. Cutscene. What an incredible sight. It is. That's pretty impressive, actually. Not just some tiny little crumbling temple in the middle of the jungle. Hmm. Can I trust this? Surprisingly, yes. This also provides a convenient way down, like so. How far can we ripple down? Pretty far. Okay. Oh, I mean, could almost touch the, the ledge like that. Can we jump across that? Presumably. Yeah, no problem. Oh, really? I don't think I would just hack this away. I mean, seriously? That does not look like something you can just remove with your tiny little axe. But okay. Looks like this might be the way out. Oh, really? We wait, wait, that might be the way out? But this is clearly the way out. I mean, obviously, in order to reach that stone face and whatever that over there is. Oh, okay. Just part of the greater mechanism. That's over that way. I mean, I, should, I have no reason to not believe the game that this actually is the way out. 
be the way out. Okay, fine. If you say so. In that case, let's continue this way. Uh, or not? Wait, what? Oh, okay. I see. Grapple axe. Oh. Okay. Didn't know we could do that. way should I go then? I guess this is just a little side cave. Oh yeah, sure. Sure enough. So whatever that is. Black powder. Oh, okay. That seems like a trap. I don't know. I don't trust this place one bit. Finger length away. Damn this place. Damn this forsaken jungle. It holds a jewel just out of reach and then sweeps your legs out from under you. We've almost made it across that bottomless pit. Some kind of altar beckons from the other side, under a giant stone face that seems to mock our efforts. Something attacked the camp. Some men claimed it was panthers. Others said something more sinister. Half the crew insist on abandoning the expedition. I had to dress one man down, made an example of him. All I need is one more day. One more lousy day. Hmm. Uh, I have a feeling like that didn't work out so well. Huh, something attacked them, huh? Wasn't it was it really not just some angry indigenous people? I mean, we did hear about that I forget what it was called. Sisamite? Sisamity? Or something? I don't know. Okay. Thanks for the resources, thanks for the cloth. Looks like that's all. Okay, no trap, I guess. Fine by me. There's that huge face. Mocking? I don't know. Something just moved up ahead. Oh, and I wasn't looking, of course. <sighs> Typical me. Is that what I'm trying to reach? Yeah, I guess that's another one of those fancy murals. Hmm. Well. I guess I can just go ahead and push this. Or pull it, even. Or am I supposed to connect that to something? Oh, maybe I have to turn this around first so I can create a bridge. I think this is going to stay in place. Yes. I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't. So that seems pretty straightforward. Yes, okay. Is there not anything to be done with this part of the ruin, perhaps? I, mean, I don't see anything. Including any way I could possibly get up there. Although, hmm. Well, I don't suppose I can jump up from this rope, for example. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe it's just backdrop. Or maybe we'll abandon this place and return there. building it. Right. Okay. It's a huge crank. How could you possibly operate that? Well, I guess we'll see.
<laughs> this mechanism must be really well lubricated to move that freely. Okay. And it swings back. Wait. It did. But the platform is still here. supposed to connect that to I mean there's only one thing that I can see but why do I want that I mean I, I have to write that to the other side somehow hmm I mean I guess I'll cut this and Move this around. Assuming it somehow do, uh, serves a dual purpose. Come on. And that way I can connect these. That should hold. Okay. Now I can use this to get to the other side, of course. Is there something here? No. Okay. <clears throat> and now I can push this. Nope. You can actually. I. I was. I'm holding the opposite direction, so it will only allow you to move one way. Okay. I guess without holding it in place, it would have moved. It would have started moving faster. So. Uh, she wouldn't have had time to reach the platform in time. Time to reach it in time. Well, whatever. You you know what I mean. Okay, well, glad I figured that out immediately. More luck than anything, but, you know. There were only so many moving parts. I'm sure things are going to get a lot more complicated later on. Coco, really? We have notably not run into whatever was moving up ahead. And it looks like we're almost up to the treasure, so... Uh, well, maybe not yet. Maybe there's a little bit more. Here, under the watchful eye of one of the Lords of Death, lies the gate to Shabalba where all must travel when transitioning from this life to the next. Well, I mean, Lara has been there. Not in this universe, I guess. Um, do I just jump across there? It looks like a ledge to grab. I don't really see where to go next from there, but... Oh, that's a ledge too. Okay. Nope, that's a crumbling ledge. That's just a fake ledge. What was that? That weird sound again. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, she's... I was trying to jump to the side, but I guess... Too slow. Okay, now I know. Oh, well, sure. Grab that immediately. I guess that works. So I wait until that one is passed. Whoa. Really? Was it? I guess I, I have to climb a little bit. Uh, up a little bit more. Or else you can not grab that one. Not a whole lot of time, though. What? Did I not press the... I know you have to use the axe again. I guess I wasn't fast enough? Oh, boy. Hey. All right. Jump, grab. There we go. Huh. Yeah, I guess I must have been too slow or something. I mean, in my defense, the climbing sequences in these games have just randomly failed to work. Whoa. Okay, that was awkward. So I'm not really sure if it was my fault. 
Oh, we're here. We can open this. And get just some extra gold. Thanks, I suppose. Untold riches achievement. Hmm. Okay. Seems pretty early in the game to celebrate the amount of gold we've collected. Uh, I don't know, something about this looks unsafe. Is it just me? Could be the dried blood on this altar here. Maybe I should look around first before interacting with the treasure and obviously triggering something terrible. More gold? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I have to. Now to find my way out. Eagle's Perch. Increased climbing skill to traverse the, enti the environment with more speed. That's amazing. It's a really good thing to find early. Probably not a coincidence that they put that in one of the earliest tombs. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, what was glowing there? Probably just part of the earlier puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Well. So is this what they meant? Is this just the path that I was trying to starting to climb up before? So the way out, as in the way I was eventually going to... Oh, I didn't even see that branch there. Oh. Well. The way out, as in the, the way I was eventually going to take anyway. Hmm. And I guess I'm done with this place? But now I wonder where that... Where that actually would have led. That's a far shot. Well. Okay. Well. Um, just drop down or not? So, I suppose we never did run into whatever that was. Okay, seriously though, I'm, I'm really tempted to just head back in and see where that path leads. I mean, it's probably just another way to to quickly get back to the to the slide leading out, out of the tomb. If for some reason you head back in again, like I'm about to. I mean, the episode is pretty much over anyway, I'm not gonna do anything major anymore at this point. So I might as well. It shouldn't take long. Right. Oh, I have to go hmm. Through all this area again. Wait. How did I even do it in the first place? I right. Already forgetting everything. Full of dead people. Huh. Interesting that that triggered again. Or was it a different sound? Who knows, actually. I think it was actually different. So, surprising that it triggered some kind of sound. Okay. 
So let's see. Obviously, this is going to going to be completely pointless and a major disappointment. But I have to know. You know what? This is exactly where the slide starts. Actually, I just... It's literally there. Well, I mean, I suppose it, it was nice of the game to warn me. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, I, I knew. I was completely aware that that was not gonna give me anything useful. Except... Some knowledge. Some peace of mind that I did not actually miss anything. Unless it turns out that I did, but it seems like... Well, I mean, it feels like that place is complete. Of course, for now I have no way of knowing if I'm missing any artifacts, documents, or anything like that. But there weren't all that many things to find in this entire first area, were there? For how large it is? I guess I'll check again how much I'm even still missing from this, from the overall list. Uh, one more camp, right. Might be somewhere around. Actually, I mean, the path continues and there's uh, quite a bit more map here, so it's probably going to be somewhere around here, if I had to guess. Um, the other tomb, we know where that is, of course. Uh, the chest? Oh! Somehow we know that there's a treasure chest in there, as well as the relic uh, document, I mean. Interesting. I don't know how we learned that, but we did. We also know about this one missing relic. One, two documents that I know about. Oh, also this was revealed. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe that, uh, maybe this, this backpack that we found did reveal a couple of things all over the map. Now it's a bummer that we missed that. That I missed that somehow. But okay, it's not not huge. And then there's another survival cache somewhere, probably in the area not yet revealed. But yeah, it's really only uh, well, two more murals, two more survival caches, one of which we know where it is. Uh, four more documents, two of which we already know. Yeah, and I'll have to find a way into into that underground little chamber somehow. Presumably, maybe through just explosives. I mean, just blowing up those sticks covering up the hole. Should work in real life, but who knows what the game expects me to do. There's almost no telling. You find anything? Another uh, of those minor yeah. altars, and... And what? An old camp gone to ruin. We should keep going. Right. Huh. It's nice that they actually added some extra dialogue for this. I appreciate that. I have, what, one skill point? Yeah. I mean, I could get one of these basic ones out of the way, but I kind of want to tend toward this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is now unlocked. That's nice. Crow's Horde. Large capacity ammunition and resource satchels now available to purchase from merchants. Okay. But that will cost three skill points to even unlock the option to buy them. Um, interesting. Eagle's wing. Hmm. I feel like this has been unlocked by something, or this used to be locked rather. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Should I save, or should I get one of these basic ones another way? Where's the one that reveals traps? Oh, this is the one. Reveal traps. I mean, it really shouldn't be necessary. If I'm stopping to, to activate uh, survival instincts in order to look for traps, I might as well just, you know, stop and look around for traps, which have been pretty obvious, you know, um, even without survival instincts. It's really only when I'm rushing and not, not paying attention that I... I'm in danger of falling for them. And really, so far, mostly for the, the crumbling floors, because those are a little bit tricky to see ahead of time. And unfortunately, also a little bit tricky to dodge, even with the bullet time that activates. 
Actually, I've been trying to roll away. Maybe maybe the trick is just to jump. I don't know if I really tried that. I mean, there have really only been a couple of instances so far. That's definitely something I should try. Anyway, this seems this strikes me as something that's just not very necessary, especially not for two skill points. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I want uh, the weapon upgrade thing, so I'll wait for another skill point. And yeah, the bow is fully upgraded for now. I suppose I no, I can't. This takes too many resources. Technically, I could restore Evening Star's equipment. It's really too bad that we that I can't even see what it looks like. So I have a feeling like it's gonna look like something I don't want to wear. Hmm. Perception duration. Meh. I don't know. Doesn't strike me as something particularly useful. Anyway, um, I guess this is a good stopping point. We took a look at our first challenge doom, which was really nice. Um, yeah, actually a very decent size. Uh, impressively looking, of course. Uh, or impre impressive looking. Uh, the puzzle was basic, but that's to be expected at this point. But uh, yeah, actually fun overall. And um, hopefully a sign of greater things to come. Um, next time we're going to head on through there, back to that first area, and probably wrap up getting some of those things. Maybe I'm going to uh, travel back off camera to grab the survival cache, just, you know, because that should be a... That's, that's not particularly exciting, and it's going to take a little bit of backtracking. Maybe I'll just do that. In fact, can I even... Uh, I probably can. I'll, I'll see if I can. And just grab that. And then, yeah, we're going to head on... Uh, back in this area, into this area, get the other tomb probably out of the way. See if we already have a way to open this this uh, this cave here. Probably not, but uh, pick up these things and yeah, maybe even reach Kuwakiaku. Although I have a, I have doubts about that. We'll see. Um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.